Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the unsettling world of fame gone awry. Join us as we explore the shocking stories of 20 actors currently behind bars and the reasons behind their fall from grace. From legal missteps to controversies, it's a gripping journey through the darker side of Hollywood. Now, let's get started. Michael Jace, born on July 13, 1962, in Patterson, New Jersey, is an American actor best known for his role as Officer Julian Lowe on the TV series The Shield. Despite having a successful career in television and film, Jace faced a tragic turn of events in May 2014 when he was arrested for the murder of his wife, April Jace. The actor was convicted in 2016 and is currently serving a prison sentence. Before the legal troubles, Michael Jace had a notable career in Hollywood, with appearances in films like Forrest Gump, 1994, and TV shows like Southland. The murder case brought an unfortunate end to his acting career, overshadowing the accomplishments he achieved earlier. Currently, Michael Jace is 61 years old. His life took a dark turn, and his story serves as a reminder of the complexities that can exist behind the public personas of even seemingly successful individuals. Harvey Weinstein, born on March 19, 1952, in Flushing, New York, was a prominent American film producer who co-founded Miramax and the Weinstein Company. Weinstein achieved fame for producing acclaimed films, earning numerous accolades, including several Academy Awards. However, his career unraveled in 2017 when numerous allegations of sexual misconduct and assault came to light. Weinstein faced a highly publicized trial in 2020, resulting in his conviction on charges of rape and sexual assault. The legal proceedings exposed systemic issues within the entertainment industry and sparked the hashtag MeToo movement, bringing attention to sexual harassment. As of now, Harvey Weinstein is 71 years old. His downfall represents a significant moment in the reckoning against abuse of power in Hollywood, underscoring the need for accountability and change within the industry. Skylar Julius Delian, born on September 12, 1979, in Long Beach, California, gained infamy for his involvement in a series of heinous crimes. Initially known for his appearance on the reality TV show Zodiac, his actions took a dark turn in 2004. Delian, along with accomplices, murdered a couple, Tom and Jackie Hawks, during a yacht sale. The crime was characterized by its brutality, as the victims were tied to the yacht's anchor and thrown overboard. In 2006, Skylar Delian was convicted of multiple charges, including first-degree murder and kidnapping. He is currently serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Today, Skylar Julius Delian is 44 years old. His story remains a chilling reminder of the potential dangers hidden beneath seemingly ordinary individuals and the tragic consequences of a descent into criminality. Drew Drexel, born on January 6, 1989, in Coral Springs, Florida, gained fame as an accomplished American Ninja Warrior competitor. Renowned for his remarkable athleticism and numerous successes on the challenging obstacle course, he earned the nickname The Real Life Ninja. Drexel's performances on the show elevated him to fan-favorite status, solidifying his place in the American Ninja Warrior legacy. However, in 2020, Drew Drexel's life took a dark turn when he was arrested on federal charges related to child sex crimes. The charges included alleged sexual misconduct with a minor. The legal proceedings and arrest tarnished his once positive public image and had severe implications for his career. Presently, Drew Drexel is 35 years old. The legal outcomes would shape his future, underscoring the stark contrast between his achievements on the obstacle course and the serious allegations that unfolded in his personal life. Danny Masterson, born on March 13, 1976, in Albertson, New York, 
is an American actor best known for his role as Stephen Hyde on the popular sitcom That 70s Show, which aired from 1998 to 2006. Masterson's performance contributed to the show's success, and he gained recognition for his comedic talents. In recent years, Masterson faced legal troubles. He was charged with multiple counts of rape in 2020, accused of sexually assaulting three women between 2001 and 2003. The allegations led to his arrest, and legal proceedings ensued. Now, Danny Masterson is 47 years old. The legal case brought a stark contrast to his earlier career success, highlighting the serious consequences individuals may face when allegations of such nature arise. The outcomes of the legal proceedings would continue to shape Masterson's public image and professional future. Amy Locaine born on December 19, 1971, in Trenton, New Jersey, is an American actress who gained recognition for her roles in the early 90s, including the film Cry Baby, 1990, and the TV series Melrose Place. Her performances showcased her talent and contributed to her rising fame during that period. However, in 2010, Locaine's life took a tragic turn when she was involved in a fatal car crash in Montgomery Township, New Jersey. The incident resulted in the death of a woman and led to Locaine's arrest for vehicular manslaughter. She was subsequently convicted and sentenced to prison. Currently, Amy Locaine is 52 years old. The legal ramifications of the accident and its impact on her life highlight the profound consequences that can arise from tragic events, affecting both the individuals involved and their public perception. Josh Duggar, born on March 3, 1988, in Tontatown, Arkansas, gained fame as part of the reality TV show 19 Kids and Counting, which showcased the life of the large Duggar family. As the eldest son, Josh played a prominent role in the show, which aired from 2008 to 2015. In 2021, Josh Duggar faced legal troubles when he was arrested on federal charges related to the possession of child pornography. The charges alleged that he downloaded and possessed explicit material involving minors, leading to his arrest and subsequent legal proceedings. Today, Josh Duggar is 35 years old. The legal case not only marked a disturbing turn for a once public figure but also emphasized the severe legal consequences that individuals may face for offenses related to the exploitation of minors. Zach Avery, born on June 16, 1985, as Zachary Joseph Horwitz, is an American actor turned film distributor. Born in Columbus, Ohio, Avery began his acting career in the mid-2000s, appearing in minor roles in films. However, he gained notoriety in the entertainment industry for his involvement in a massive Ponzi scheme. In April 2021, Avery was arrested for orchestrating a fraudulent scheme that involved seeking investments for his distribution company by falsely claiming deals with major streaming platforms. The scam, which operated under the guise of film licensing deals, defrauded investors of millions of dollars. Presently, Zach Avery is 37 years old. His legal troubles and arrest have overshadowed his early aspirations in the entertainment industry serving as a cautionary tale about the consequences of financial deception and fraudulent practices. Joseph Sun, born on November 22, 1970, is a South Korean-American actor and former mixed martial artist. He gained notoriety for his role as Random Task in the comedy film Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, 1997. Sun's brief appearance in the film, where he parodied the character Oddjob from James Bond, became one of his notable contributions to popular culture. However, Joseph Sun's life took a dark turn in 2008 when he was convicted of multiple charges, including felony torture, for his involvement in a 1990 gang rape in California. The charges led to his imprisonment, where he served time for several years. Today, Joseph's son is 53 years old. 
His journey reflects the complexities of individuals who find brief fame in entertainment but face significant legal consequences that shape their public perception and personal trajectory. William Michael Hayden, born on June 24, 1965, is a former American gunsmith, television personality, and U.S. Marine, who gained fame as the star of the Discovery Channel reality series Sons of Guns, which aired from 2011 to 2014. Hayden was also the owner of a gun shop featured in the show. Unfortunately, his life took a dark turn when he faced legal troubles. In 2017, William Michael Hayden was arrested and later convicted on charges related to the sexual abuse of minors, leading to a significant downfall in both his personal and professional life. Presently, William Michael Hayden is 58 years old. His story serves as a cautionary tale, emphasizing the serious legal consequences that individuals may face for such egregious offenses, tarnishing his once public image as a reality TV personality and gunsmith. Shannon Richardson, born on August 31, 1977, in Mineola, Texas, is an American actress. She gained some recognition for her minor roles in television shows and films, including appearances in The Walking Dead and The Vampire Diaries. However, Richardson became infamous for a darker reason. In 2013, Shannon Richardson was arrested and later pleaded guilty to sending ricin-laced letters to then-President Barack Obama, then New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, and a gun control advocate. Her motive was reportedly to frame her estranged husband. The criminal act resulted in a 2014 conviction, leading to Richardson's imprisonment. As of now, Shannon Richardson is 46 years old. Her story is a stark example of a personal dispute escalating to criminal activity, with severe consequences that affected not only her life but also those of the intended recipients of the poisonous letters. Ryan Grantham is a Canadian actor. He gained recognition for his performances in various television series. Grantham's notable roles include appearances in popular shows such as Riverdale, Supernatural, and iZombie. However, Ryan Grantham, a young Canadian actor who appeared in the television show Riverdale, has been sentenced to life in prison after admitting to killing his mother as part of a broad scheme in which he said he had planned to also kill Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and carry out a mass shooting in British Columbia. Today, Ryan Grantham is 26 years old. Kalan Rashad Walker, born on August 15, 1995, is an American actor, musician, and model. Originally from Los Angeles, California, Walker gained attention for his roles in films like Superfly, 2018, and the TV series Insecure. However, Walker's promising career took a dark turn when he faced legal troubles. In 2018, he was arrested and charged with multiple counts of sexual assault and domestic violence. The charges involved alleged incidents with multiple victims. Walker's case serves as a reminder of the serious consequences individuals may face for criminal actions. Currently, Kalan Rashad Walker is 28 years old. To obtain the most recent information on his legal status and any developments in his career, it is advised to refer to more current sources. Zara Fithian born on October 10, 1984, in Newcastle, England, is a British martial artist, actress, and stunt performer. Renowned for her exceptional skills in kickboxing and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, Fithian has made a significant impact in both the martial arts and film industries. Zara Fithian gained fame for her outstanding martial arts prowess, leading to success in various competitions. Her talents transitioned seamlessly to the film world, where she showcased her skills in action films such as He Who Dares, 2014, and had a role in the Marvel blockbuster Doctor Strange, 2016. However, 
Fithian was convicted of 14 charges of sexual activity with a child between 2005 and 2008, starting when the girl was 13 years old. In addition to the same 14 counts, Mark was found guilty of an additional four counts of indecent assault against another girl from 2002 to 2003, when she was 15. Joe Exotic, whose real name is Joseph Maldonado Passage, was born on March 5, 1963, in Garden City, Kansas. He became infamous as the eccentric and flamboyant owner of the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park in Oklahoma. Joe Exotic rose to national prominence due to his portrayal in the Netflix documentary series Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness. In 2019, Joe Exotic faced legal troubles and was convicted on charges related to animal abuse and a murder-for-hire plot. He was accused of hiring a hitman to kill Carol Baskin, a big cat conservationist and his rival. Joe Exotic received a 22-year prison sentence for these charges. Presently, Joe Exotic is 60 years old. His story reflects the bizarre and controversial world of exotic animal ownership, legal battles, and the complex intersections of fame and criminality. Jen Shaw, born on September 13, 1973, in Salt Lake City, Utah, is an American reality television personality known for her role in the reality series The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Shaw gained attention for her extravagant lifestyle and dynamic personality, making her a notable figure in the reality TV realm. In 2021, Jen Shaw faced legal troubles when she was arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit wire fraud and money laundering. The charges were linked to her alleged involvement in a telemarketing scheme that targeted elderly individuals. The legal proceedings unfolded as a central plotline in the reality show bringing a mix of drama and real-world consequences to Shaw's public image. Currently, Jen Shaw is 50 years old. Her legal case continues to be a significant aspect of her public persona, showcasing the intersection of reality TV and real-life legal issues. Elizabeth Holmes, born on February 3, 1984, in Washington, D.C., is an American entrepreneur who gained fame as the founder and CEO of Theranos, a once highly touted health technology company. Holmes claimed that Theranos had revolutionized blood testing by using a small amount of blood and providing rapid results. However, in 2018, Holmes and former Theranos president Ramesh Sunny Balwani faced charges of massive fraud. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission accused them of an elaborate, years-long fraud in which they exaggerated or made false statements about the company's technology, business, and financial performance. Now, Elizabeth Holmes is 39 years old. Her rise and fall depict a cautionary tale of corporate misconduct and the consequences of making false claims in the pursuit of success. Jared Fogel, born on August 23, 1977, in Indianapolis, Indiana, gained fame as the spokesperson for Subway due to his significant weight loss achieved by incorporating the restaurant's sandwiches into his diet. His story became a well-known advertising campaign, promoting a healthy lifestyle. However, in 2015, Fogel's life took a drastic turn when he was arrested on charges related to child pornography and engaging in illicit sexual conduct with minors. In 2015, he pleaded guilty to these charges and was sentenced to more than 15 years in federal prison. Jared Fogel's fall from grace shocked the public, as he went from a symbol of health and weight loss to a symbol of criminal misconduct. Today, he is 46 years old, serving his sentence while his story serves as a stark reminder of the potential for public figures to lead double lives. and television presenter. She rose to fame in the late 1990s with her Bollywood film roles and appearances in popular television shows. However, 
Betty's life took a turn in 2002 when she faced legal issues. She was arrested in Portugal along with underworld Don Abu Salem for traveling with forged documents. Extradited to India in 2005, Betty faced charges related to obtaining fake passports, leading to her imprisonment. Monica Betty, despite the legal setbacks, has worked towards rebuilding her life. As of now, she is 49 years old. Her journey reflects the complexities of fame, legal entanglements, and the pursuit of personal redemption in the public eye. Lillo Brancato is an American actor of Italian descent. He gained fame for his role as Calagero Anello in the critically acclaimed film A Bronx Tale, 1993. Brancato continued his acting career with appearances in films like Renaissance Man, 1994, and a notable role on the television series The Sopranos. Unfortunately, Brancato's life took a tragic turn. In 2005, he was arrested and later convicted for his involvement in a burglary that led to the death of an off-duty police officer, Daniel Nchotegui, during a botched robbery attempt. Brincado was sentenced to a lengthy prison term. Presently, Lillo Brincado is 48 years old. His story serves as a cautionary tale, illustrating the profound consequences of criminal choices and the impact they can have on a once promising career and personal life. That wraps up our dive into the troubled paths of these actors. If you found this video intriguing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more riveting content. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, stay tuned for more insights into the lives of those in the spotlight.